two, three, four, five. Love it. My name is Sayla. I like to do kung fu, snowboarding. I like PE, music, and art. Sayla was 10 days old, approximately, when she was found on the side of a bridge in Hefei, China. She spent the first three and a half years of her life in an orphanage. They gave us this complete book full of pictures and information about her. Yes, this is her Chinese name. It's uh, Lu Wan Nan. Wan Nan means against all odds. We had to keep that as her middle name. That's part of her identity. She had a cleft lip and palate. She also had the limb differences. So perhaps her birth family did not have the, the resources to be able to care for her properly. Here it shows that she's feeding herself with her bottle with her feet. The decision to adopt Sayla was easy. We saw her video and we saw the determination she had in walking across the floor and getting into this little push car. I lost both of my parents when I was young, and so I was orphaned at age seven. I had a, a heart for adoption. <laughs> In 2016, she had comprehensive surgery of her right side from her hip down. Her right foot was constantly in this atrophied position where her toes were down. She had no ankle, so the best thing was amputating. She was struggling with her first leg and the fit and it hurting. She saw people running on running blades uh, at a mobility clinic and that really helped her emotionally be able to see that what people could do. She's wanted to run with a running blade for several years. I was out of work for most of 2020. And it added a lot of financial stress to our family. So fortunately I've known about CAF for years. Our prosthetist, Zach Harvey at Rise Prosthetics, he has done a lot with CAF grants before, and so he said, I think it's time for us to try to get Sayla a running blade. The running blade's gonna allow her to run faster, safer, keep up with her friends, participate in sports. We have a, a bit of a surprise for you today. Go on into the big room there. What she doesn't know is that Amy Purdy is going to be here and presenting it to her. I met Sayla last year when I was here actually getting my prosthetics made. She has so much energy, full of positivity. I can't wait till she gets this running blade. Yeah. Hi. I heard that you are getting your very first running blade. Well, I have it for you. Do you what? want to see it? Okay, ready? Oh. And you actually get to run today. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna give it a shot? Yeah. You just, you're only oh. Do you think you could run in it? Let's go see. Set, go. That was so fast, I <laughs> can... Honey, believe I'm my eye. Are you loving your leg? Does it feel good? Yeah. Our puppy loves to run. I want to, I want to. Okay, okay. <laughs> so great to see her face light up. She just, she had a blast with it. With this Oser blade, she's gonna be able to jump high, race her friends. Seeing her run was wonderful. It was a, a joy to my heart. Set, go! In just this short amount of time that she's had it, we've noticed a huge difference in, you know, her wanting to get outside more. When I work with her or watch her, she's always so happy. <laughs> She came to our program and it was like this ball of energy that walked through our door. She went right to it and said, I can do this, and just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. <laughs> I would describe Sayla as unstoppable. If there's something she wants to do, she'll figure out a way to do it. Her first English sentence was, I do it myself. I'm going to one fast jump high like a tina. 